Hey there and welcome back to my PCDMS tutorial series. Today I wanted to talk about custom report labels. So the report we're looking at here is the CAD only landscape report with the label shown without any editing or moving around. So you can see it's a little cluttered and the trouble with this is it's very hard to edit in this screen. So I'll show you what I mean. So what I want to report is only deviation and the amount of deviation without any other rows or symbols. Very simple. So I'll quickly show you how hard that is to do. So right click edit object. And we can uncheck what we don't want to report. I can uncheck a row. So that's the ID row, the one on the top there. And let me just show you what that looks like. Even if I apply that to all the labels, There we go, so it's a little bit um, too wide, actually way too wide. So the trouble is it's hard to edit these individual labels. Like I try to drag with a mouse, it just doesn't really work that well. Okay, so let's set that back to the way it was in the beginning. So axis nominal tolerance, measured deviation out of tolerance. Okay, so let's open a report that I've already done ahead of time and I'll show you what we're, we'll work towards in this tutorial. So just let me open the other one. Okay, so this is what I'm after. So I've actually customized it a little bit with positive and negative deviations. In order to achieve this, I had to create three custom labels. So one label shows that yellow color, the deviation wording, and the value. And the other one is the blue label showing negative deviation third label is just text in two cells. So you can see it over there on the left. Okay, so that's what we're aiming for. So let's go back to our original one. So what I first need to do is open a reference template. So the template that created these labels, so I'll just mouse over it. So you can see what it's called, legacydimension.lbl. So let's first open that under File Reporting, Edit, label template. So we'll browse for that legacy dimension one. I think there it is there. Give that a double click. Okay so we'll just keep this open for reference. So what I'll end up doing is grabbing the formulas from this template and putting it into my custom label template. Okay so let's open up a new um, label template. So file reporting. So this time it's new and label template. So here's our canvas and what I first want to do, so we'll make this the the negative deviation, that was the blue one. Okay so first we need to insert what's called a grid control object. So we just give this box a click, drag a box. So don't worry about the number of cells right now, we'll control that just in a second. To do that We'll right click. So what I want is two cells, one column. So over here, let me just drag this over so we get a better look at that. So over here, the number of columns we want to set to one. So we'll hit the tab key and the number of rows set to two. Hit the tab key again. So there we go. So you can see it there. So we have to do a little bit of editing. Uh, what I like to do is just grab this little green handle here at the bottom right hand corner. We'll just drag that up. And I want to make it shorter so that the height of those cells is something around like that. So to edit these cells, we'll just double click until it turns blue. Right click. And you can see the cell height there is 23, so I want that a little bit smaller. So I'll grab those handles again and just drag it up. Double click, right click, 18. Now that's pretty good, we can work with that. The cell width I want around, we'll say 50. And apply and OK. That's pretty good, that's a nice neat little box. Uh, so the last thing I want to do for sizing 
is I need to drag this area here over. I can't have this blank space here. So let's just grab a handle again. Just simply drag to the left until it's snapped onto that, that uh, last side there. Okay, perfect. So that's the size I want. That's actually the hard part. So the easy part is we're just going to copy an existing formula for the deviation cell. So back to our, our reference template. So this cell here, the one that says DEV, I want to grab the formula from that. So we'll just click on it until it turns blue. Right click and over here in the cell expression, you can see the formula. So the easiest way to do it is just right click and copy. We'll cancel out of this. Back to our label template editor. Back to the cell in question. Right click and in the cell expression field, we'll just simply paste that. There we go. So there's our formula. So while the box is open, I will do justification horizontally and vertically and apply my color. So this will be our negative deviation and I will make that that blue color right there. And the last thing I want to do is change the font size because it's a pretty small cell so I want to go with a size of 7. So that should work okay. Apply and okay. There we go, exactly what I wanted. So that looks good. So this will be our negative deviation. The last thing I want to do is enter the formula for the actual value. So back to our reference template. There it is there underneath the one highlighted. So right click, same thing. So this is a pretty long formula. So what I'll do is just click in the cell in the field there Control A on the keyboard will select all. Right click, copy. So we'll cancel out of that. Back to our, our editor. Back to the cell in question. Right click. And in the cell expression, we'll just paste our long formula. And again, we'll justify horizontally and vertically. Uh, the, font, the color, I'll just keep it white. At the font size, I want to put the 7. OK. Apply. And OK. That's it. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want. A nice, tight, neat little box. Save space on the uh, report layout. OK, so now we need to save this. So we'll save it as a specific name. So let's call this negative deviation easy to remember because we'll need to look this up later so we'll save that okay so I still need to specify a command type that this template is designed to use so I'll say yes to this and we'll call this for dimensions and okay all right so that's saved so now what I'll do is just edit the color and then rename this as positive deviation so that'll be our yellow color Right, so click it till it turns blue. Right click, and for here, all I want to do is change the color. So we'll just make this a light shade of yellow. Okay, apply. Okay, so this is easy. Now we just save it as our positive deviation. So save as. Yeah, so it's getting easier. our positive deviation label we'll save that um, so now I want to do that legend where I show in text what the colors mean so let's um, just drag this out so I think I'll just work with this just get it to a decent size Yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's try that. So now instead of a formula, I just want text. So simply write negative deviation 
and the color is important because it's a it's like a legend so negative deviation is the blue and the font I want a little bit bigger because it's a bigger cell so let's say let's go with 11 see how that looks apply and okay perfect so let's do the same over here the bottom cell so right click we'll get rid of this formula so control a and we'll just delete that and this is positive positive deviation and background color this time is that shade of yellow uh, font size again we want to increase to 11 apply and OK perfect so we'll save this and we'll just call it uh, deviation chart deviation chart and save okay perfect so we have three custom labels let's apply them okay so here's the report we want to work with so let's first enter our deviation labels so we'll do the say the negative first so we'll, I'll right click any label select matching labels a little quick shortcut and we can actually change the template right in this context menu so we'll just click the change template button now we just browse for that one i just created call it the negative deviation there it is there and open boom just like that so it's starting to look much better so now what i want to do is pick using the control key only the positive ones so we'll do the zero as well and anything positive I want to select let's see there's one there there and there so these will be my yellow labels so let's right click change template and go to our positive deviation label there we go so it's starting to look pretty nice okay the last one is a little different how we do this so I want to put that that legend or that chart right here so we'll just right click that area and down here we can add an object to the page so what I want to add is the custom label so the trick is to drag a little box where we want to put it let go and then we browse for our deviation chart and open there we go that's it so that looks a little better Remember, you can still move these around a bit if you want. Just double click and drag it. See, I think I want to move that over a little bit. Uh, something like that. Okay, that looks good. So that's how you do custom labels. Well, I hope you found this useful. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Hey, so while I've still got your attention, I just wanted to take a moment to promote our e-learning training program. If you like my tech tips, then you may want to check out our series of instructional e-learning videos. Our CMM e-learning courses are internet-based and cover the complete PCDMS training courses from start to finish. This will be the same material covered in our classroom training, with the added convenience of allowing you to view them whenever and wherever you want. For more information, please visit the training section of our website.